on our watch and see what the Lord will say unto us. The word of the Lord said there is a turn around. 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 We shall testify of the greatness of our God. Amen. We shall testify of the majesty of our God. Amen. We shall testify of the of the magnificency of our God. Amen. We shall testify of the omnipotency of our God. Amen. We shall testify Amen. of the greatness of our God. Amen. We shall testify of the goodness of our God. Amen. As we have come to give you thanks, O oh Lord. Thanksgiving will not cease in our lips to us. Amen. As your people have come to give you thanks and praise. Amen. Praise and thanksgiving will continue to abound in our lives, Amen. in our ministries, Amen. in our homes, Amen. in our community. Amen. It will be thanksgiving and thanksgiving and thanksgiving. Amen. For the rest of our lives, our life will be thanksgiving to Amen. you. Our lives will be a praise to you. Amen. Our, our actions shall be converted to praise to you. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Father, we give you praise. Hallelujah. That you are sovereign over us. Yes, Lord. Yes. You are sovereign over us. Yes, Lord. You are sovereign Lord. over us. Amen. Yes, Lord. You are sovereign over us. Yes, you are sovereign of our Majesty. Yes. We worship your majesty. Thank you, Lord. Jesus, you die. Now glorify. King of Oh, majesty. We worship your majesty unto Jesus, the glory of my grace, majesty, King of mortality. Flow from the throne. 
the sovereign Lord. He is the only potent king of kings and the Lord of Lords. He is the one that dwells in the land which no man can approach. He is the one that his head is covered with wool as white. His eyes like a flame of fire. His feet burnish as brass. When John saw him, he fell as his feet and dead as dead. And he laid his hand on John said, Arise. I am Alpha. I am Omega. I am beginning and end. I am he who was and is and is to come. Oh, Jesus, you are Lord and God. We crown you king. We crown you king in our heart and our lives. In this place. We celebrate your majesty. We celebrate your greatness. King of all Oh, Jesus, you die. Jesus, you die. Oh, can you go sing the Matipa Kaba? Let go the most sing time again to go sing the Matipa Kaba. Psalm 34, verse 1. Hallelujah. It said, I will bless the Lord at all times. I will bless the Lord at all times. I will bless the Lord at all times. What is the difference between thanking God and blessing the Lord? To thank God is to thank God. But to bless Him is to affectionately to affectionately and greatly praise his name. Oh my master. The difference between we say I bless the Lord. Mm. It means I adore. Mm. I adore the Lord. Hallelujah. It is something not just from the lips. It is something from your innermost being. So when David said, I will, I will, I will, I will, in spite of my circumstances, in spite of my situation, in spite of what I may be going through, I will to bless the Lord. I've made up my mind. It's a decision. It's a choice. It is not subject to how I feel. It's not subject to the circumstances. Because he's my God. He said, I will. I will. I will. It is my will. It's my will to bless the Lord. Not sometimes. Not when the going is good. When, not when the going is fine. At all seasons. I will bless the Lord at all times. Oh, sit in my God. He said his praise, his laudation, his tehila shall continually be in my mouth. His yada shall continually be in my mouth. In other words, with everything that is within me, I'm going to accept this God. Then he turned to his soul. <laughs> because you can be, you can be. Your spirit can be willing and your flesh is weak. Mm -hmm. Now he's telling to his soul mm -hmm. that it doesn't matter what you may be going through. He said, my soul shall make her boast in the Lord. My soul does not make her boast in the new car, mm -hmm. not in the new clothes, mm -hmm. not where I live. But my soul shall make her boast in the Lord. When I'm faced with circumstances, I tell the circumstances I have a God. Mm -hmm. If I may David before Goliath, I tell the Goliath who my God is. Yes. My soul make a boast in the Lord. Not in my earthly father or mother. He said my soul make a boast in the Lord. Why? Because the Lord is in control. He's the Lord of the heavens and the earth. Because God is speaking not to handle every situation. There is no enemy, no adversary above God. He owns it all. And he controls it all. He said the humble shall hear thereof and be glad. The humble, those who trust in the Lord, shall hear 
of how my soul trusts in the Lord. And they will be encouraged. Hallelujah. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes. My praise and testimony will affect others. Yes. We affect others. It will provoke others to praise. Yes, Lord. It said, Oh, magnify the Lord. Oh, magnify the Lord. What does it mean to magnify? That is why when we sing in that song, that is when God gave me this message now. Mm, come magnify, glorify. Why? When you magnify God, God becomes bigger in your life than your circumstances. If you do not magnify God, your problem becomes bigger than God in your own head. What makes your problem small is because you magnify God. That is what David did. David sized Goliath. Physically, Goliath was bigger. Then he did not size Goliath with himself. He sized Goliath with his God. Before Goliath, David was small. Before the God of David, Goliath was nothing. And that is why David said, Goliath, you come against me with sword and spear. He said, but I'm here in the name of the Lord. Of the Lord. This is not about my battle. This is the battle of the champions. I said, it is the battle of the champion. It is not between Goliath and David. It's between the God of Goliath and the God of David. It is not between you and your enemy. It's between your God and their God. Do you understand what I'm saying? So Jesus is our David. That has killed all our Goliath. Do you understand? Jesus is our champion. Jesus is our champion. The battle was between Jesus and Satan. And on the cross, the Bible says he bruised his head. It is on the principalities of power. He made the public show of them triumphant over them. In it. The Bible said in Hebrew 2 11 that because we his children are flesh and blood, he likewise partook of the same, that through death he might destroy him that had the power of death. Hebrew 2 14. That he might destroy him that had the power of death. And deliver them who through fear of death with all their life and subject to death. So Jesus, as our champion, has defeated our enemy. Amen. All, all we need to do is take the spoil. Yes. When David defeated Goliath, the Philistine ran. And the army that we are afraid, they went after them. Because the opposition was Goliath. Uh -huh. Now Goliath is out of the way. Yes. Jesus has removed your Goliath. Amen. It is the battle of the champion. Uh -huh. Our champion has defeated their champion. Yes. So all the demons are dirty. Yes. That is why Jesus said, I behold, I give unto you power, power. to tread the serpent and scorpions, and over all the powers of the enemy, and not the other enemies. Mm -hmm. you? Because I was there when Satan went down. Uh -huh. yes. Glory to God. He said, Oh, magnify the Lord. When you magnify God, God becomes bigger. When you praise God, God becomes bigger. When you trust God, God becomes bigger. When you serve God, God becomes bigger. When you give to God, God becomes bigger. That's your atmosphere. Do you understand? He said, Magnify God. Can God be bigger than He is? No. But in your life, He can be bigger than He is. Do you understand? In your mind, in your heart, in your soul, God can be bigger. Oh, yes. And you has the ability to make God bigger in your life. Amen. Though God is almighty, in your life, he can become small. Amen. Because you see him as small. Amen. That is why they sing there in Nigeria. I have, hey, I have forgotten this one. Who, who no no la who no no a colas more Jesus than the man? Who no no a colas more God? The twelve spies that were sent, ten came back saying that we are not able. They limited God, but two said our God is more than able. So in their mind, God was bigger. But in the mind of the twelve, the giant was bigger than God. And God called their report evil. Because nothing is bigger than him. Do you understand? Amen. Nothing is bigger than him. 
Nothing is bigger than God. Amen. 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 People were buying cars and truck those days when they were writing on it. May God will be done. Mm -hmm. AG, and my mom bought a wheelbarrow and wrote on it, Nothing past God. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Nothing yeah. past oh, God. God. Amen. Yes, Omalanke Pusha has his power over his Omalanke. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. And let us exalt his name. This is what the Lord is saying to us this season. Yes. Yes. That we need to exalt and magnify him above every situation. Do not let the devil lie to you. The devil wants to psychologically defeat us. So we are seeing what the enemy is doing. We are not seeing what God is doing. I made up my mind. No matter what is going around me, the hand of God is at work. God is bigger. The hand of God is working. I may not see, but God is in control. I do not serve the devil. It's God that I serve. The hand of God is at work. The power of God is at work. The angels of God are at work. The spirit of the Lord is at work. It's working for our good. It's working for our betterment. It can only be better. You see, I sought the Lord. And he heard me. And delivered me from all my fears. They looked unto him. And they were right. Their faces were not ashamed. Hallelujah. This is what happened. When you magnify God. God is found. And God delivers. God takes away our fear. Amen. When we look unto the Lord in thanksgiving and praise and appreciation. We are lighting. Hallelujah. The glory rub on us. Amen. Are you following what I'm saying? Yes. Let's magnify God. Hallelujah. That's what the Lord is saying this morning. Amen. He wants us to magnify Him in our hearts, in your innermost being. Don't believe in situation above God. See that God is at work. Even when you do not understand, believe that God is at work. Don't believe that the devil is at work. If you believe that the devil is at work, you'll be seeing manifestation of the devil. But you must believe that God is at work. God is in control. God is in charge. He's big enough. Amen? None is like him. None is before him. None is above him. None is beside him. He's God all by himself. Deuteronomy 10, 17, let's read it. Oh, Rabbi Shataka, I will bless the Lord at all times. My soul will make a boast in the Lord. I will magnify the Lord. He said, for the Lord your God is God of gods. This is the God we are talking about. A Lord of lords, a great God, a mighty and a terrible with regard no persons, uh -huh. no take bride. Uh -huh. not, this is the God we serve. Right. Are you following what I'm saying? Yes. Do you understand what we are talking about? Yes. Say, I will magnify. I will magnify. Say, I will magnify the Lord. Magnify. Say, neighbor, yeah. oh, magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. Stand up and practice that. Stand up and practice it. Magnify him. Call him the God of God. Call him the Lord of Lord. Call him the great God. Call him the mighty. Call him the terrible. Call him is the God that he guided no person. Call him is the God that takes no pride. He is awesome God. He cannot be proud. Magnify the Lord. Magnify the Lord. Magnify the Lord. Magnify the Lord. Oh, magnify the Lord. Magnify the Lord. Magnify the Lord. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name. When you exalt his name, you are magnifying him. Exalt his name. Call him Jesus. Call him Jesus. Exalt his name. In your life is exalted. In your home is exalted. In your marriage is exalted. In your ministry is exalted. In your household is exalted. In your children is exalted. Jesus is Lord. 
Jesus is Lord. Jesus is King. He is King eternal. He is immortal and visible. He is the only wise God. We are sons. We are sons. We are sons. First Timothy. First Timothy 1.7. First Timothy 117. Oh, hallelujah. We are magnifying him. We are magnifying him. He said, now, nah, unto the king eternal. I say he's the king eternal. He's the king eternal. Somebody declare. Oh, God, you are the king eternal. You are immortal. You are invisible. You are the only wise God. So you be honored and glory forever and ever. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. We magnify you. Magnify your name, Lord. We praise you, Magnify you. Magnify the Lord. Oh, magnify the Lord, the Lord is able. Magnify the Lord. I oh. say, magnify the Lord. 